Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to podcast 5.2. We're going to state the octet rule. Hey, that means eight electrons. And explain why elements in which the first energy level is their valence shell, or yeah, whatever. Octet rule and exceptions. Define Vesper theory, and explain its relationship to the shape of molecule, valence, shell, electron, pair, repulsion. Hey, that's a test question. Explain the difference between single, double, and triple bonds. Explain the difference between a molecular formula and a structural formula. And name, draw, and describe the most common shapes of molecules. So let's giddy up. So why do atoms bond? Stability occurs when a valence shell is full. Full is typically eight electrons. Okay. So notice here, sodium has an extra one. Doink. Chlorine needs an extra one. Doink. Notice eight. Oh, sorry. Two, four, six, eight. Eight is full. Full is lowest energy. That's stable. And that makes chlorine with this extra one, two, four, six, eight, so unstable. Isn't that wonderful? Now, not everything needs eight. If you're on the top row, like hydrogen or helium, um, you only need two. The other ones that need two would be like lithium, beryllium, and boron, because when they lose their electrons, they fill the first energy level. First. And the first level only has two. And if you look at this first level, Hey, this first level only has two, and that's why. Okay. Valence shell, electron pair, repulsion. That's Vesper. I know it's spelled Vesper, but that is Vesper. Electrons are negative, right? And repel each other and spread out. And spread out. This determines the shape of the molecule because they position themselves as far away as possible. We're going to use Lewis dots and connect the dots to share and get a full octet. Full means low energy and stable. Full and stable. Right? He's not going to go chasing after you. Lewis dots for representative elements. We did this before. Remember, first column has one, second column has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's worth noting that um, single, 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 and then you make pairs once you get to the fifth. Okay. So looking at that, Lewis dot structure for these guys. Now, when you, whenever you do these, the least frequently occurring goes in the middle. Least frequent in middle. Okay? So what's the least frequently occurring element in H2O? Oh, okay. Or carbon. Don't do that. Um, what's the least frequently occurring in water? Oxygen. Oxygen has six valence electrons, because in the sixth column. Hydrogen has one. And then you sing, connect the dots, la, la, la. Connect the dots, la, la. And that says, hey, look, I'm spread out. They're as far apart as possible. Okay. H2S, sulfur is the least frequently occurring one. Do, 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 and it has six. I should draw those the right way, I suppose. If it has six, you should count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I put them in different places. It doesn't really matter where you put them as long as you have two pairs and two singles. Hydrogen has one dot. And again, where am I getting these dots from? Oh, first column, one dot. Oh, sixth column, six dots. And then connect the dots, la, 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 connect the dots, la, la. Now, diatomic, so I have hydrogen. Remember, I aim my single electrons at each other. Connect the dots, la, 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 connect the dots, la, la. Chlorine. Remember, I aim my single electrons just so it's easier at each other. Connect the dots, la, la, la. By the way, everyone has two here. Notice how this has two, and this has on this guy right here, oxygen has two, four, six, eight. That's a happy oxygen. Hydrogen has, has two. That's a happy hydrogen. Now, oxygen in its diatomic form is trickier. And it shows a double bond. Connect the dots. Oh, look. La, la, la. Now, that looks ugly, right? So, if it's a double bond, I just move them over here. And notice they still have eight. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. And remember, covalent bonds let you count those twice. CH4, CCL4, okay, so here we go. Least frequently one goes in the middle. Boop, boop, boop. It's off in the first one, but not always. Carbon has four dots. Hydrogen has one dot. And remember, you aim your single electrons at each other. And then connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots, 
la la. Chlorine has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dink. Oh, I connected them too early. Sorry, chlorine. Seven. Chlorine, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Why do I keep forgetting my L? And then connect the dots. La, la, la. Everyone has eight. It is great. Nitrogen has five. And each H has one. Isn't it great that H only needs two? It makes it so much easier. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay, PCL3. Phosphorus. Find on the periodic table. Phosphorus. They put their dots on the side, so I'll put my dots on the side because I'm a follower. If it's pickle three. And it doesn't really matter which way you aim them as long as you connect your dots. La, la, la. And they'll end up with eight. And it's great. Structural formulas conveys the arrangement of atoms, and molecular formulas gives you the count. So this guy right here shows the arrangement. It is a structural formula. And this is just a count, kind of. So this would be kind of, sort of, a molecular formula. Now another molecular formula could be C2H4O2. This one has its reasons for being that way. Ethane, this is a structural formula, it would be C. The molecular formula would be C2, 1, 2, H, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, H, 6. Match structural formula to the appropriate molecular formula, CH4. Now this is easy. It's wonderful. Look for one with a C. Hey, that has a C. Look, it has 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it, the friends. NH3, 1N, 1N, 3Hs. Hey, we've got a winner. F2. Water. Give the molecular formula for. Okay, so what would this be? I've got two H's and I've got two O's. H2O2. Now when you name things, you usually want to go from left to right, which is actually more positive to most negative, which is kind of least electronegative to most electronegative. This guy right here, I've got one, two carbons, C2. H, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, H, 6, O. And for us, any order, as long as you have the right count, is good. Not all bonds are single. Double bonds have four electrons. So remember when I had, like, X to Y, they're sharing two electrons? It would have four electrons, like when I had O2. Oh, right? Stronger, but it's not two times as strong. And they are shorter than single bonds. Triple bonds have six electrons. Oh, so if I had something like this... Nitrogen actually does this. N2 is a good example of this. Connect the dots. La, la, la. And then you'd want to rewrite this so it looks a little better. Triple bond. Six electrons. Notice. Two, four, six. Stronger than single and double. Shorter than single and double. Quadruple bonds don't exist. There's too much repulsion. Remember, these are all electrons. And they're all negative. So they all repel some. And eventually you get too much of a good thing. Review. Metals have an electron C that describes all of their properties. Covalent shares unevenly. That seems like the wrong one. Shares, yeah, this is not the right review slide. This is the wrong review slide. If I were to review this guy, sorry about that. If I were to review this guy, I would talk about single, two electrons. Double, four, and triple six. And I would say least frequent in the middle. And I would say connect the dots, la, 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 doodles. Connect the dots, doodles, la, la.